Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you're new here, I'm Kelly, and today's video is another pass, grab, or undecided. I did not expect to come back so soon. I just uploaded one of these last week, and before I was doing them once a month, I thought I would do kind of every other week, but there are just so many new makeup items that I wanted to talk to you about, so here I am. We are back. If you're new to my channel or new to my Pass, Grab, or Undecided series, this is my spinoff of Samantha March's Will I Buy It? So if you enjoy videos like this, Samantha March did create a community playlist, and I always have Samantha listed down below. I always have the community playlist, so you can check out more videos like this one. But I'm going to try not to be too chatty, because my camera battery is already blinking at me. This is my third video that I filmed today, but I really wanted to get it out there. So we are going to talk about some new makeup releases and if they are items that I'm going to pass on, if they're items I want to grab, or if I'm a little undecided. So why don't we go ahead and jump into it. This is one of the products that really made me like want to film this video again again so quickly to the one that I just up uploaded last week, but it is the Urban Decay eyeshadow palette, the Naked Wild West eyeshadow palette. It's another one of their Naked line, and this one, if I said that green shade, what's the name of it? Bud? That green shade Bud really made me think long and hard about this eyeshadow palette. There are 12 desert-inspired neutral eyeshadow shades from pale peach to metallic bronze to deep blue-green and turquoise shimmer. You have mattes, metallics, and shimmers. This is $49. It's available February 8th at Sephora. Guys, I really thought about this. I really did because greens have been doing something to me lately. They really have. You have some beautiful, like, literally desert shades then you can you get deeper with like a deep green and just bronzes and it looks stunning but i had to tell myself kelly you're on a low buy so really think about your purchases here we can't have any impulse purchases we really need to be thoughtful here and when i have purchased naked eyeshadow palettes in the past I liked them. I don't have anything bad to say about the formula, but I just didn't reach for them. And while I think the shades look beautiful, I feel like I have these eyeshadow shades 10 times over in my collection already. And as much as I really wanted to say I would pick this up, I think I'm going to pass on it. It's $49, so it's a little bit pricey. You do get 12 shades. I really enjoy the formula, but I just, I feel like I have those eyeshadow shades already in my collection. This is really hard. If I wasn't on a low buy, I might have snagged it, but I'm really trying to be purposeful in my makeup purchases, so this is going to be a pass for me, but let me know down below, what did you think when you saw another Urban Decay Naked palette was coming out, and are you going to pick it up? The next product that caught my attention and really made me say, okay, I have to film another one of these videos, is by Ofra Cosmetics, and they have their Ride or Die collection, which includes their blushers, so it's a bronzer blush duo in one pan and a liquid blush. You can purchase them together or separately. So to get a duo is $35, but if you get just the blusher, which is like the blush bronzer, that's $29 and a liquid blush is $15. Now I don't want the liquid blushes. I'm just... I should be into them because I have dry skin, but I'm just not into liquid blushes like that. So that's not what caught my attention. What caught my attention are the blushers the blush bronzer duo. I do have the Ofra collab with Samantha March. I have the entire collection, so I have the blush and bronzer. I think the formula is amazing. Ofra Cosmetics highlighters are some of my favorite, so I'd really be interested in trying one of these blushers. Now, I'm not sure the name of the one that I'm interested in, but I'll pop it up here on the screen, and it's the one that is made for, so they have like one for 
fair skin, one for light to medium, and one for a deeper toned skin. I like the light to medium, which has like a nice bronzer and more of like the pinky blush. That's the one that I'm interested in. I would purchase it by itself. It's already available and you can use Trend Mood for 20% off of Ofra's website. I think Samantha March has a code too. Obviously, if you're gonna purchase it, like use a code and save some money. I don't have a code, but I will use a code. But I'm, I'm really thinking that's gonna be a grab for me. And if you're new to these type of videos, grab doesn't mean that like I'm going out tomorrow to purchase it, but it means that like I want this in my collection. So I, I want that blusher in my collection. Real Techniques is coming out with a new brush collection. You can find Real Techniques at Ulta. They're also at Walmart, I believe, but on the Trend Mood One Instagram, it says that this is going to be available at Ulta. Is it called Soft Glam? Soft Glam by Real Techniques? It's supposed to be inspired by luxury and glamour. It's limited edition. They have a whole set. Everything from a kabuki brush to a primer brush to a complexion brush, eye brushes, highlighter brushes, and all of the brushes. While I think these brushes look beautiful, and luxurious. If I didn't have a ton of brushes in my collection, I would probably think of purchasing these because they are more on the affordable end, but I have a ton of brushes in my collection and I don't really need to purchase any more, so I am going to pass on them, but I do enjoy real techniques and I think if you're new to makeup or if you don't have a ton of brushes, I do think that this would be a good collection to look into, so let us know if you're gonna get them. Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. That is a name that I feel like I don't hear as often as I used to. I was talking to my friend Molly from Makeup Molly and we were talking about how Jaclyn Hill was like talking about her cosmetic line for like years before it even launched. And now Jaclyn Hill came out with these Valentine's Day mystery boxes. They already released and to be fair, they're already sold out. So I mean, I'm not gonna link them down below or anything. They sold out in like 10 minutes. So people were excited about them. People did get their hands on them, but we didn't know what was in it. Like it was a surprise. It was a mystery. These boxes were, okay, not that bad. So there was like a lipstick set for $25, Light of My Life for $45, a self-love starter kit for $35, and For the Love of Makeup for $65. And you'd get, I guess, like liquid lipsticks, a gloss, glimmer powders, baked highlighters. This was a pass for me. I have not tried anything from Jaclyn Cosmetics and just the thought of making a purchase but not knowing the product that was going to be inside, that was something that kind of turned me off to it. So I mean, like I said, I know that this has already released and gone by, but I did want to point out that I passed on it so you're not going to see it on my channel, but if you snagged this, we wanna know. The people wanna know, so please tell us in the comments when you get it, what's in it, do you like it, or is it a regret for you? We wanna know. Milk Makeup has a new product called the Color Chalks. These were available February 5th on their website, and they will be available online at Sephora on February 12th. And on the Trend Mood One Instagram, it says that it's handmade, glides onto the eyeballs, cheeks, lips, or beyond for a buildable, shimmering payoff. It apparently is infused with a blend of essential oils, so you have a subtle scent. They're silky, shimmering shades, 14 of them, for $18 each. I don't like the texture of chalk. Just thinking about it gives me the goosebumps. I'm a teacher. And I'm so glad that we don't have chalkboards anymore, y'all. I literally, ooh, nails on a chalkboard. That When I think of chalk and the texture of chalk, that's how I feel, so I can't talk about this very long. This is a pass for me because of the texture of chalk. I don't like chalk. This is supposed to be a multi-purpose product, so you can use it on your eyes, your cheeks, your lips. They're shimmering. They look interesting, but it's a pass for me because I just can't get over the texture. I can't. I think $18 for a multi-purpose product that you can find at Sephora from the brand Milk Makeup, I think that's a fair price. It's very interesting. I will be interested in hearing people talk about this product, but for me, I can't get into it. It's a pass. 
Marc Jacobs caught my eye with their new cafe collection. It's their spring 2021 and it's inspired by decadent swirls of cream and coffee. I love coffee. I love coffee. So in this release, they have a caffeine concealer and foundation, pass for me, not interested. They have Omega Times 3 powder, blush, bronze, and highlighter palettes for $49 each, limited edition packaging. These made me do a double take. They really did. I think they look beautiful. I love coffee, the packaging looks great. I really like the idea of a blush, bronzer, or highlighter. But for $49, I think I'm going to pass on them. And then a highliner matte gel eye crayon for $26. And they have three different shades. I really do like their eyeliner formula. I've tried little sample sizes before. They glide on amazingly. But I think this whole collection is a pass for me. If I wasn't on a low buy, I would perhaps purchase one of the Omega Times 3 little compacts with the blush, bronzer, and highlighter but it's gonna be a pass just really because of my low buy. But it did catch my attention, sparked my interest. I was eyeing it, but I'm not gonna pick it up. And the last product that I'm gonna share with you today is by Fenty Skin, and it is their Flash Nap Instant Revival Eye Gel Cream. So this is a power shot of renewal. It hydrates and soothes in contact, reduces the look of puffiness over time. It's $32, it's available February 12th, or for $42, you can get a eye massage tool. I've mentioned this before, but I feel very weird about makeup brands who put out skincare. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, when I see a makeup brand coming out with skincare also, in my mind, it just doesn't feel as good to me. Now that could be very false. This could be an amazing product, but I'm not gonna try it out. I did recently purchase the Good Molecules eye gel for six bucks. So when I compare that six dollars to 32, you know, the six dollars kind, kind of wins out. But I mean, this did catch my attention. I was like drawn to it initially, but I just, I need to hear more about Fenty Skin skincare before I can jump on the bandwagon. But that's gonna do it for this video. That is my pass grab or undecided. I just realized I didn't scoot over. I, no I normally scoot over so you can see the pictures better. So hopefully that doesn't bother you that it's, you know, that I didn't do that. But I just wanted to share some of these new makeup releases with you because they caught my eye and I had to share them. If you enjoy videos like this, please go ahead and give this a thumbs up. I would love to have you subscribe, stay a while, be part of the K-Bella fam, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let us know in the comments down below, what do you think of these releases? Are there any makeup releases that I haven't talked about that caught your eye? I would love to know, but that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Uh -oh, uh -oh.